So Ryan was 17 years old. He was a Boy Scout, a straight A student. Pauline Stewart's son Ryan received the message one evening in February. Hours later, a panicked Ryan took his own life. Somebody reached out to him pretending to be a girl and they started a conversation. Their social media conversation quickly grew intimate. The cyber criminal posing as a girl sent Ryan a nude photo, then asked for one of him in return. As he sent it to them, they demanded $5,000 from him. And he told them they couldn't, so they lowered the money. Ryan, a high school senior, agreed to pay the criminals from his college savings, but their demands only increased. They threatened to post those to family members, put them on the internet. Pauline said goodnight to her son at 10 p.m. Soon after, things took a devastating turn. He was still a happy, normal kid, but by two o'clock in the morning, um, th that's when he took his life. Pauline says a note left behind stressed how embarrassed Ryan was for himself and the family. He really, truly thought in that time that there wasn't a way to get by if those pictures were actually posted online. His note showed he was absolutely terrified and no child should have to be that scared. Had you ever heard of this kind of scheme before? No. It's called sextortion and an increase in victims now has the FBI warning parents from coast to coast. The bureau says there were 18,000 sextortion related complaints in 2021 with losses in excess of $13 million. The FBI says the use of child pornography by criminals to lure victims also constitutes a serious crime.